Hey there guys, this is Promise Reviews here and welcome back to the channel. Now today's gonna be a little bit of a mixture of two things. It's gonna be a little appreciation post and it's gonna be talking about Rise of the Beast news. First we are going to talk about the appreciation. The appreciation we have gotten so far as being a Transformers fan for how many years? Since 2018 we have gotten nothing. We have gotten absolutely nothing. Not even anything sure we've gotten studio series and stuff and uh, even though it's been really really cool hunting these figures we haven't had a movie since the bumblebee movie and it sucked sure we had the transformers netflix version of war for cybertron and all that good stuff and even though that is cool we've been wanting a movie for so so long and we're finally getting one and man has it been amazing so far it has lived up to the hype that we are setting it so far and man are the bars high for this movie if this movie succeeds it will be a huge a huge success for Paramount and a step in the right direction for them as well. Because even though, you know, the, the Michael Bay versions, to me, the first, second, and third one are actually good. The fourth and fifth one are questionable. You know, people put the fourth one over the fifth one and I completely understand that. I would have to agree for that as well. But other than that, I do feel like that Paramount is taking a step in the right direction at sweeping all that and starting brand new now if you guys are still wondering if it is canon to the michael bay verse it is not canon at all the bone movie starts a brand new universe for the transformers franchise and i think it's a great step so far sure we had to get a custom of bone being more kid friendly than him killing off decepticons one through five you know all that good stuff but yeah you know it had to get some time getting used to but i think it's a great movie but yeah we've been getting a lot of brand new news lately and a lot of good ones as well to brand new posters for optimus prime mirage and optimus primal they all do look fantastic and even life-size you know uh structures of optimus prime and optimus primal man th those look sick and honestly what a great way to showcase transformers rise of the beast and promote it there has been nothing, nothing for the past five years and now we are finally getting stuff and man are they doing a great, great, great job. And I feel like we Transformers fans do deserve this, you know, um, we are all loyal, I'm pretty sure we are all loyal, yes some of us hate the Michael Bayverse but you gotta admit that there are some pretty cool scenes in those movies. Me personally, the third one is the best, uh, great movie. But I'm pretty sure we all have different rankings of every movie and stuff. But overall, I think it is a great time to be a Transformers fan right now. Now, let's talk about Rise of the Beast. As you guys know, Rise of the Beast is coming out on June 9th. And I am so, so excited. But I feel like they are hiding a couple of things on the low. And I feel like it's time for us to see what those secrets are. Now, before I go on, note that this is not confirmed at all. But these are just my thoughts and what I feel like will happen in Rise of the Beast. The first secret we're going to talk about is a secret villain? Yes, what if I tell you that there's a chance that we may see the T-Rex version of Megatron? As we all do know that Scourge is going to be the main villain of, of course, Rise of the Beast, but since there's Optimus Primal, Optimus Primal needs to have, you know, a villain to fight against, and I feel like we may see Megatron in his T-Rex form. I know what you're thinking, are you serious? Like, there's no way Scourge is the main villain. We have Battle Trap, we have, you know, a lot of other Beast Wars. I'm pretty sure they won't add a Megatron, but what if I tell you that they might? As you guys do know that Megatron is, of course, the villain for Beast Wars and Optimus Prime is the hero for the Maximals. You know, there's Predacons and Maximals, so, you know, there has to be a yin and a yang. Him fighting Scourge is going to be like, eh, okay, but there has to be a reason why, you know, Scourge is there. Maybe Megatron sent him? Maybe, you know, this or that? You may never know. Boy, if they tease him, man, best believe I am screaming in the theater loudly. The next secret we're going to talk about is where is Wheeljack and Nightbird? Now, as you do know that we have seen glimpses of Wheeljack and Nightbird, but we've never, we haven't seen a full rendition or poster for Nightbird or Wheeljack. Now from what I heard, I heard that Wheeljack is getting a Sonic the Hedgehog redesign which I really hope they do because that face is just a face a mother would love. But other than that, I do feel like that Wheeljack needs a new design. And for Nightbird, the only thing that I ever saw of her was her toy that came out and that toy looks eh, that figure looks eh. But other than that, you know, I really hope that that figure has nothing to do with how she looks like in robot mode at all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the figure looks bad, it's just not great as any of the other figures. But the Wheeljack tops it, just saying. But yeah, to me it's just strange that we haven't seen, you know, a full image 
of Nightbird or Wheeljack, we have seen Cheetor, you know, even though his back when we seen him transform, we saw actually a full image of him running in his Cheetah form, and that, that's enough for me. We saw Air Razor, you know, we've, we've, we've seen these guys, but we haven't seen those two mainly, and it's weird. We've seen a glimpse of RC and stuff, but it's just weird to me. And the last thing is maybe there's a chance that we may see G1 Megatron. Now hear me out on this one. I'm not saying for him to pop out maybe during the movie but maybe as a post credit scene because sooner or later the, the Decepticons will have to travel to Earth to fight the Autobots. So maybe a post credit scene of them landing on the Earth would be really really sick. Seeing you know maybe Starscream, Shockwave and of course the man himself Megatron maybe seeing him would be really really cool because we have seen his scale I don't know if you guys have seen it but we've seen like scale images of him of how he would have been if he was in the Bumblebee movie and he is huge he towers Optimus Prime and I mean towers Optimus Prime so seeing him would be honestly magnificent also one last thing Bumblebee's not gonna die okay even though it looks like in the trailer he's getting killed and stuff He's gonna be fine you guys, he's gonna be perfectly a-okay because he has to get his off-road mode somehow. You know, if you see back in the shot, he is not in, in his off-road form. And then, you know, later on in the movie, he, he gets his off-road form and that's where you can see all the extra parts on him. So don't worry, he will be a-okay. Right? Right? So help me if they kill Bumblebee, I'll be pissed off, man. Like, like, come on, bro, they, they can't kill Bumblebee! But yeah, guys, this has been a great year for Transformers so far, man. It's been a great, great year, and this was coming, but man, does it feel nice once again to have so much stuff going on, man, and so much stuff to talk about, man. Ooh, no more speculation. It's almost time to watch the movie, man, just a couple more months away. But yeah, as for the second trailer to come out, I honestly don't know when. My speculation will be maybe late March, maybe mid-April. Other than that, I don't see it anywhere else. Maybe early May, but that's it. Because again, we got the first trailer on December 1st of 2022. We got the TV spot on February 12th, 2023. So I do feel like it'll be a good time, maybe mid-April, for them to release the second trailer. Just don't show too much. Just show, just show us enough to be satisfied. Sure, maybe use the same scenes, you know, improve CGI and stuff. Because from what I've seen, they've improved the CGI a lot, and that's what I love. But yeah, man, it is... Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this movie. But alrighty guys, I think that's going to do it here for me. If you guys haven't yet, please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that we guys miss a single upload. As we are so close to 400 subscribers, man. And if we reach 400 subscribers, I, I would literally, like, lose my mind. I will literally go live and scream, like, super duper loud or something, man. I have no idea. Yeah, guys, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, again, this is all maybe speculation and maybe hopes of what we are going to see. You know, take it with a grain of salt. But again, I really hope that we do see a couple of these things that I did mention. And again, they are hiding some stuff from us. I promise you they are. <laughs> but alrighty, guys, I think that's going to do it for me. So this has been Promise Reviews, and that has been this video. I hope you guys did like it. So remember to stay calm and keep moving on. So I'll make sure to see you guys on the next one.